Hi, my name is Joyce Tote, and I'm a developer relations engineer for Chrome OS DevRel. The web is an amazing platform for developers. Because it is inherently device agnostic, a big perk is its ubiquity. That means as a web developer, your web application has a very wide reach of possible users on phones, tablets, laptops, and much more. To ensure a seamless experience for all users, you may want to test your app on various devices and form factors. For example, if you are developing a website on your Chrome OS device and recently added a collapsible navigation drawer for when the window size is smaller, you can deploy it locally on your Chromebook and see that the drawer works and looks great on a large screen device. But what about on a phone, where the screen is much smaller and usually in portrait mode? Instead of deploying an unstable and untested feature to production, you can expose the port on your Chromebook and access it from your phone as long as it's on the same network. Starting on M85, Chrome OS now makes this easier with built-in port forwarding in Linux beta on Chrome OS. You can open your local development server port so devices on the same network can access it. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure you've enabled Linux on Chrome OS. If you already have it turned on, you should see port forwarding in the Linux beta settings. Here, you can add ports to be forwarded. When you add a port, you can specify the connection type, TCP or UDP. You can also optionally label it for easier reference. After adding a port, you'll see it in the list here. You can then toggle each port on and off. Note that sometimes you will need to be hosting something at the port before you can enable it here. When you enable a port, you are making the associated Linux port available to other devices on the same network that your Chrome OS device is on. Note that even though you are running your server from the Linux container, it is by default already available and exposed to Chrome OS via local host. Now that you've set up the ports for forwarding, you'll need the proper IP address along with the port to connect to it from another device. To find the IP address for your Chrome OS device, go to Settings, and under Network, select the network your device is on. There, you'll see the IP address. Then on another device, whether it be a phone, tablet, or another Chromebook, as long as it's on the same network, you can connect by putting the address in this format in your browser. You'll be able to see what your app looks like on a different devices without doing a full deploy. And that's it. If you don't want possible intruders to access your port, don't forget to disable it once you're done testing. As mentioned, after turning off the port, you can still access the port locally via localhost. Port forwarding on Chrome OS is a great wireless alternative to similar tools for port forwarding. For example, the Chrome DevTools port forwarding works great, but only if you have a USB cable and an Android device. If you are developing an Android app, port forwarding can also be used in place of the ADB forward and ADB reverse commands, which let you forward requests from your host port to your device port and vice versa. Whether you're a web or Android developer on Chrome OS, you can take advantage of Chrome OS's built-in port forwarding to simplify testing on multiple devices. For more information about web development on and for Chrome OS, check out chromeos.dev, a dedicated online resource for Chrome OS developers.